I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials, and we're simplifying each expression. So if I was given this polynomial, negative 4k to the 4th plus 14 plus 3k squared, and parentheses plus parentheses negative 3k to the 4th minus 14k squared minus an 8. Oof. A lot of a big, big one here, okay? So, first thing I need to do is I'm looking at it, okay? Is there anything within the parentheses that are like terms? No, all right? There's no like terms within the parentheses, so I can't simplify it. So I can rewrite this, and I'm going to rewrite everything as adding a negative, because I find that easier. I don't need my parentheses that way. Uh, so I have negative 4k to the fourth, plus 14, plus 3k squared, plus a negative 3k to the fourth, plus a negative 14k, write that minus, plus a negative, squared, plus a negative 8, okay? So now, oof, I'm going to rearrange, just like we did the other ones, rearrange, putting our like terms first, and a highest degree first. So I see minus the fourth power. So both of them had something to the fourth power. So I'm going to rewrite that first, negative 4k to the fourth, and then plus a negative 3k to the fourth. We don't have anything to the third power, but let's look to the second power. I see a 3k squared. So we have plus 3k squared next, and then this one here is plus a negative 14k squared. Lastly, we're just left with our numbers here, all right, 14 and negative 8. So we have plus 14 and plus a negative 8. Okay, we wrote a lot down. Let's double check we have everything. Let's just go line up, term by term, negative 4k to the fourth, right there, 14 was right here, 3k squared, uh, 3k squared was right there. Negative 3k to the fourth, right there. Negative 14k squared, right there. And negative 8, right there. I went through all the terms. All of them were transferred down correctly. Okay, now we have our highest degrees first to our lowest degrees. So now let's simplify. Negative 4k to the fourth plus a negative 3k to the fourth is a negative 7k to the fourth. Then we have 3k squared plus a negative 14k uh, squared is a negative 11k squared. Then 14 plus a negative 8 is a positive 6. Okay? So now we need to uh, we'll simplify this a little bit. Uh, we're not going to simplify it. I don't really like to have plus and negative as my final answer. It's easier to simplify like when I'm solving um, or simplify it. So we have negative 7k to the fourth. I'm going to rewrite this to be subtracting 11k squared plus 6, and there we have it. We have our final answer from this large, big thing to be negative 7k to the fourth minus 11k squared plus 6. So let's recap. We're given parentheses negative 4k to the fourth plus 14 plus 3k squared, and parentheses plus parentheses negative 3k to the fourth minus 14k squared minus 8. Since it was addition between them, I kind of eliminated the parentheses here, but I made everything to be plus and negative. I then rearranged and double-checked that I had brought everything down, but rearranged it using the commutative property, having my highest degrees first. So here are my uh, k to the fourth powers, then here was k to the second powers, and then here's our constants. And then once I rearranged them, I combined my like terms, giving me negative 7k to the fourth, and then here and negative 11k squared, and then a plus a 6. Then from there, um, I don't really like to have a plus a negative in my final answer necessarily, so it looks nice for just subtraction. So I rewrote that back down to be just subtraction. And my final answer began at negative 7k to the fourth minus 11k squared plus a 6.